Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Design. We just finished our Bible study, the intro into session five. I was going to do this at the end. It got too long. Um, so I just decided I'd just real quickly take you through my little bag. I want to think I got this little bag at the Dollar Tree. I cannot remember where I got it. I'm 100% sure I didn't pay any more than a dollar twenty, whatever it is now, Dollar Tree. So um, I just want to share with you what I have. Um, I really like this bag. Number one, my hands hurt, you know, I, I have arthritis, two forms. So I love this little tiny handle, you know, it doesn't get in the way if I stick it in another bag and it really seems to help. Um, I found these called Right Tech and these are highlighters. I love these and let me tell you why. I had heard it recommended by another Bible study leader, actually a couple of them, that these are great if you have arthritis. They are fantastic. They are like marker highlighters because I thought, well, they're going to be gel. They're going to be something else, but they're not. They're like marker and um, they, number one, they're easy to open and close. It's really not hard. The other thing is I don't have to pull the tops off and I don't lose the tops. So I love these. These are right tech. Okay. Um, I'm not going to like list the links. All of this came off of Amazon except for the cover. That's, you know, and, and all the rest of this is just basic stuff. Um, I do not know where I have. These are just some old healing scripture meditation cards. These are just scripture cards. And, um, I wanted to, you know, to journal them. So I stuck them in. It has nothing to do with the bag. I just stuck them in today. All right. I also had seen, there's some really neat praying for, um, from Dayspring, um, sticky notes. And then I found these on Amazon and I'm just going to kind of move them for you. There's two of each design and these were so affordable. Okay. The other match is what I'm using right now, um, in my Bible study notebook. And then, um, to that other one. So they all, they come in pairs of two and, um, you know, they all say something like trust, hope, you know, etc. And this is the last set and it says strength. So these are great. They're sticky notes. They work beautifully. Um, and they were very affordable. So I just basically searched on Amazon, you know, sticky notes, prayer, you know, or, you know, prayer sticky notes. And then lastly, um, I really love anything with the grid. I have a ton of new washi I just picked up. Um, so this, I'll be throwing that in my bag. And I'm trying to see if I can see where I put it, but I don't have it like right at my fingertips. But it's exactly like this. And I had purchased it, it first, and then this came up when I did a query. And I really like these. So um, I like... I just, I like, I enjoy doing that. Uh, I enjoy the, the, the way that functions. Now you're going to go, this doesn't fit. There's no way all this fits, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you know, it does. So anyways, um, but, um, yes, I was just on the phone with my daughter. She was telling me they had a goat born and the mama got killed. And so they're trying to find a home for the goat. And uh, they're because they're getting ready to take a trip. So I'm not a home, but somebody can help take care of it while they're on the trip. So um, here is, let me see, Bible Sticky Notes. So that is by Mr. Penn. So those that say praying for are from Bible Sticky Notes. So I saved that so I could show you guys. So maybe if you search Mr. Penn on, um, on Amazon, you can find them. And then lastly, I don't know where I got these. I just have them. I think they came from Amazon. If not, you can find a half dozen of these. I love these because when I um, teach, I, I use them. I write my um, scripture verse out and the order and all of that. And that helps me. And then I can, you know, just preload the Bible before Bible study. And then lastly, um, I have a pen. These are the zebra pens. You can get these on Amazon. You can get them at your grocery store. I think you can get them at Walmart. I really like the thin, thin, thin one. But because of how I'm teaching right now in the, you know, camera, my phone is in between. It's really hard for me to see. So I got to be able to see. And then lastly, um, my daughter gave me this pencil today because I couldn't find a, a mechanical pencil. Figure that out. So anyways, um, I think they're in a pouch out in the cottage, which we have to get to. But that's it. This is it. This is all I keep in my Bible study bag. I'm always happy with it. Um, I've got my highlighters. 
I do keep a note in my Bible study notebook and it's way over there <laughs> um, for when I came in from, oh, sorry guys, I've been outside doing a uh, Bible study in the prayer garden today on our, on our, pro on our property and um, I keep my color coding of how I um, like to highlight in my Bible or underline in my Bible using these highlighters. Um, and there's different color variations. This was just one that appealed to me. You can get whatever color you like. Um, and I think that's it. I mean, seriously, for, I'd say, less than $10. Uh, maybe, I can't remember how much I paid for those pins. Those pins may have been like $14. I cannot remember. But to me, it was a very inexpensive, um, I, I looked for everything that was affordable. I went for the least expensive of the sets of pins. I went for, um, you know, because you know how they have different colors in the same company, but one can cost more, you know, and I picked the colors that I liked. And then the sticky notes were very affordable, definitely cheaper than what had been originally um, shown. The grid sticky notes, um, I just found the cheapest ones. That's all I, I knew. And I like that size um, when I'm, you know, because they're smaller. I can put that in my Bible or in my notes or wherever I'm working. And then lastly, these are just pins for my stash. So I think that's it. If you have any questions, be feel, uh, feel free to leave them below. We are having problems with comments. So you can also email me at josephinesdesigns.com at gmail.com. That is listed below. And I hope that encourages you with your Bible study bag. And I'll have a picture I'm putting up on Instagram, probably Sunday of my Bible study little basket that I took outside when I went. And I'll explain how it all works together on that Instagram and hope that that'll be encouraging to you. Okay, friends, um, I pray your day's blessed, creative, and lovely. Like, subscribe, share this with anyone that would encourage them. And um, yeah, and if you have any questions, again, feel free to leave it below or write me I'll be glad to help in any way I can. So, all right, friends, again, keep it lean, keep it easy. I highly recommend the see-through bag. I've used the Dayspring um, beautiful bags, divided bags, all of that. Um, I don't use those at all. Number one, I overfill them. Number two, I can't see anything. And this has been a real, real game changer for me. So, okay, friends, I love you guys. Y'all take care. Talk to you soon. Bye, y'all. Be safe.